All right, in this video, I wanna talk about something very important when it comes to your solar roof from Tesla, and that is skylights. Skylights, like those two behind me. One's covered, one's open. This one's still open. The other one is covered because, well, <laughs> it leaks. Now, you would think, ah, skylights, okay. You just replace them. Ah, uh, yes. That's easy to say, um, you know, now, in the moment. But if you're not sure about replacing your skylights when ordering a Tesla solar roof, before Tesla comes out, uh, you should have already made the decision on if you're going to keep your skylights or remove them. That's because, uh, from my experience personally, and hearing some other people's experience, uh, Tesla has a very hard time getting in skylights from their distributor. The company's super slow for some reason. Um, even though I'm pretty sure it was a, a pretty like name brand, um, Tesla also won't go and just buy them from your local like big box store like a Lowe's or a Home Depot. They actually have to wait for them to come in from this supplier, which is nice, but at the same point in time, uh, we told them from day one that we wanted these two skylights replaced. You know, when the official guy from Tesla came, he's like, what's up with the skylights? Keeping them, getting rid of them, you know, putting new ones in. You wanna just, you know, cover it up completely. And we said, we're gonna replace them. We're gonna replace them with two permanently closed skylights, not one open, openable skylight, one closed skylight, both permanently closed, you know, get them ordered. He's like, all right, we'll order them for you. Uh, that was at the beginning of the build almost a month ago, <laughs> and uh, we finally, um, basically a month later, finally got the notification that they are on their way. So if I had delayed in making the decision to you know, replace them or keep them or whatever, if I had you know, delayed by a week or two, I would be even further out to getting these skylights replaced and getting this roof finished so that it can get um, you know, the official approval from my town and from the electric company. So uh, this video is just to like let you know, uh, when ordering a Tesla solar roof, really do make the decision ahead of time. If you're replacing, keeping, or covering up your skylights, it's important. Um, it's also going to affect the layout of your PV tiles because there cannot be solar that close to the metal flashing that's around the skylights for safety and electrical reasons and just getting approved reasons. So hopefully this video serves as a, uh, a good you know, educational reminder <laughs> and just a heads up uh, in the future. If you do order one, definitely make sure that you're, you're going to either keep or replace your skylights before you know, Tesla starts doing the whole project. Otherwise, you could delay your own project, your own solar roof for longer because of how long it takes Tesla to get the supplied skylights from their supplier. So with that, thank you for watching. Uh, so far, the Tesla solar roof has been a pretty awesome experience, but there's always little things that come up here and there, and I'm doing my best to try and share them with you so that you can make a more educated decision in either buying a solar roof or just kind of knowing what you could expect, what could happen uh, during your own you know, solar roof construction as Tesla Energy is installing it. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and as always, have an awesome day.